Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to MQ Hobby. Today I am back uh, again with an exciting video but before that I request if you can like and subscribe my channel so that we can reef together. Uh, today uh, my topic is uh, how to treat cyanobacteria. Of late uh, I have had some cyano uh, algae on my sand only. And at, uh, with the passage of time, it has been increasing right onto uh, rocks. But rocks, there was some green algae. So let me just show you. So this is my cube, as you can see. Uh, this uh, slimy uh, algae, sort of a cyanobacteria. And a uh, little bit was here that I have just removed, cleaned. And uh, you can see here at the overflow and uh, coming over to this part as you can see it is a little bit there on this uh, gravel here it's there and on this side and uh, off late I was observing that uh, it was creeping up onto the rocks you can see the green film Around the echins, uh, this is cyanobacteria. This one is cyanobacteria. So today I've decided that before I change my water, uh, let me give a dose uh, to this uh, of uh, cyanorx so that we can treat. What I have done is that I have taken out uh, the carbon. I have taken out the metasorb. Taken off the skimmer. Uh, cup and that I will be running and uh, then I have prepared a solution of uh, blue wet red cyano RX solution and uh, I have added around I have 130 gallons so I have added around 13 little spoons of uh, this Powder. So you can see the spoon is uh, very less and uh, this is cyanorx that I have added it here in one cup of tank water. So what I will do, I will just uh, throw it here in this um, And, and then I will run this scammer on what? Scammer on aeration mode. As you can see that uh, it has started. I will just add it, adjust its uh, height so that uh, it's not overspilling much. So this is what I'll be doing to air it. Generally it is recommended to dose uh, this uh, solution in the morning but I decided at around uh, 4 p.m. So still I've got five hours of uh, light timings. So let's do it like this. I'll add the remaining part. And then let's see what happens to the ORP. The ORP, in my opinion, should dip down immediately. So that we'll see in a while before the reading comes. So just a little update. Uh, this is my calcium reactor running. I just, uh, you can see it's uh, filled with uh, <coughs> coral crush. In between, uh, the brown part is uh, marine uh, um, 
custom bought you can say commercial commercially sold but uh, then i decided to again collect the code crush and uh, put it in it work the same way so as you can see that it has started working the foam will just spread around everywhere now so i am stopping it here the dab of uh, my red sea mesh as you can see here and uh, the treatment is for 3 days but uh, i will observe it and i would like to run it for at least 5 days to just kill everything i mean not everything just kill see no so as you can see this is uh, my zinnia i keep it in the sum and it grows a lot here is the cyanobacteria as you can see this cyanobacteria it's sort of a benthic algae despite i have been cleaning uh, although i have seen it receding receding these days um because of uh, i have raised the nitrate uh, phosphates a lot then i have raised nitrates as well by dosing a uh, new nitro from brightwell and i have seen this uh, reduction in cyano but i decided why not to give it another boost with the help of uh, uh cyano rx and see the results for at least a uh, few months i should not have any sort of tension of the this uh, cyano bacteria so uh we'll get back after 5 uh, days and we'll see the results generally the results will come in around 10 days of time after the treatment that was my first experience with chemiclean but after the chemiclean cyano came after around a month and uh, this time i have tried uh, cyano rx uh, and hopefully it should be doing fine so but this is not uh, the only solution uh, it's basically establishing the ratio my nitrates are 2.5 so my phosphate has to be one uh, 10 to 1 ratio and should be around uh, 0.25 and um, but my, my my phosphate is a little less so what i am doing i am feeding them feeding the tank blood worms soaked total phosphate it raises phosphate a lot and um, hopefully the phosphate should rise and then i will establish a procedure or i must i mean and at the moment is in a process of removing it with the help of phosphate into a natural ratio and that should be followed after this so hopefully uh, this yana should be defeated so if you have any question feel free to ask like comment or even critique because uh, it helps in both ways so till next update see you allah hafiz